Hi everyone, Dean here. Now this is a section I call hashtag in your shed, not in your face, in your shed. There's thousands of people around the country doing things in their shed, crafty and every other thing. We want to know what it is. And today we're going to see Catherine. She's in here. I don't know what she's doing, but we're just about to find out. So yeah. Catherine, are you there? Hi, uh, come on in. <laughs> it's freezing. So we're in Catherine's shed and already she's smacked me hand because I've been touching things I shouldn't. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well. Oh, you? it's nice and warm in here. I know. Listen, um, what do you do in your shed? Well, I make uh, pots. I make hand-built pots using porcelain. And it's hand-built porcelain, which is uh, got paper in it. Actually, okay. flax, uh, flax paper. And it means that I can make pots that are quite curious, quite interesting forms and quite seemingly vulnerable. OK. But actually, because the paper's in the clay, it means that um, you can do things that you can't normally do with clay. What sort of thing? Well, you can put things together in quite a kind of tenuous way, okay. quite a... Um, you know, if you look at this piece over here... Come over here, Mark, look at this. This one here, what, the, what this. the cake? Yeah, well, it, it, it looks like a cake, but it's actually going to go on the wall. It's okay. not quite finished yet, it's got to go in the firing. And so what it is, is I'm able to put things together quite kind of tenuously, quite I see. Right. Okay, delicately. Yeah. And then it, when it fires, it holds. So this goes into so a, this, a kiln? Yeah, this has already been what we call bisque fired, so it is now ceramic. OK. It, um, and then it'll go into a, a glaze firing. And it'll become very, very hard because porcelain is fired up to um, a much higher temperature. Oh, okay. So it becomes really um, impervious to water and it's very dense. It can also become quite, you can also see through it maybe when it's held up to the light, some aspects. Of it's it. pretty you, awesome. You won't be yet. What is this? This but is this, very interesting. But this is, is about a friend of ours called Richard. Okay. Who is a farmer locally. All right. And he needed some bales of hay for his cows. Well, that's what it reminds me of. About, so that's what it's about. And, and, the, and the, he got another farmer to uh, cut the, the grass for him so he could bale it up. But he did the thing that you should never do. What should you, you never do? You should never leave ragwort, <gasps> which is can kill uh, horses and cows. So left the ragwort in so the bales. So he left the ragwort in the, in the bale. So Richard had a load of these bales which were useless to him. So what happens to them then? They burn them or? Well, I think that they just have to dump them because they, they're just too dangerous. So I rather like this idea. So these little pieces here denote the idea of ragwort because actually they're the, the colours of the cinnabar moth. Um, oh, OK. The caterpillar. And so this is my idea. So, so Richard so what will a... be remembered forever that the mistake he made <laughs> is immortalised <laughs> in this. Well, actually, it was the other guy who, who bailed... <laughs> that shouldn't have done, he should have stopped. Right. He should have stopped. That is the way you should stop when you, the moment you see the ragwort. So I So I you really see like the ragwort these. stop, that's yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> I'll tell my missus. <laughs> exactly, exactly what horses. So the, these pieces will go up on the wall. Okay. And they are, of course, as you can see, they have a sort of look of a bale. They do. And now, do you all my work's it? about this. It's now, about I was going to say, I look around, I don't see a lot of colour. Is it something that stays in its natural form? Or? Well, well, what I, I like is where I live, which is in the fens, yes. it's a lot to do with light. You drive across the fen, as I used to, very early in the morning, you would see the mists and the sort of like the colour and the light be very diffused. Yeah. So this, this sort of whiteness really captured my imagination. Sure. But of course other colours as well, you know, you can see here, I'm interested in yeah. the colours of... Now this is quite shiny, like, it's yeah, almost the, like, different the ceramic you can yeah. see now. So, th so these are sort of the colours that I might want to kind of just pay attention to. If you look at what I'm doing here, is I'm making these straps. Now, the reason I started making these straps, because hand building is typically, you would, you would do a lot, you would do coiling, where you would make a coil and you would join, that's like a sausage of clay, okay. and you would join it one on top of each other. Okay. But, but I decided, I thought, where this I live is industrial farming. It's, so it's, it's, it's a very different, it's not so sort of an idyllic no, no. landscape. Yeah. So I thought, well, what do farmers, they, they may use craft, but they probably don't think of themselves as using craft. And I thought, well, how can I capture that idea of craft? And I thought, well, what do potters do that we take for granted? And we make handles. And if you look at oh, this... Oh, it's a pot. Of course it is. It's, it's a handle. handle. Look at it's it, handle, yes. Like a handle of a mug. So we... we, we yeah, sure. So what, what you do here is I make a sausage. I, I'll do one and then you do one. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So I've made these really mad... 
curious little wire. Do you make this by hand? Little, yeah, yeah, just to sort of like a little wire okay. shape. And I put it into the clay and put my finger there and then I pull it through the clay. So what I'm doing is that essentially I'm extruding the porcelain. So when I open it up like that, wow. it reveals the strap. Now we also do this in, in pottery using, you know, pulling clay to do what we call pulled handles, which a lot of potters who are on the wheel would do that. But I was, I just thought that this was a perfect way for me to make these strap handles because you do get you make this no, no, uniform I'm just going to say shape. over to say, do you make this up then as you go? Do you think you need to make something specific? Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm, specific I'm, is the word I'm after. Yeah. Um, do you think right? How am I going to do that? Do you work that out first and well, then come well, to well, this? Well, I, it was the idea of thinking about craft, thinking, well, okay, so. If I'm wanting to have this idea of this nod to craft, yeah. how could I make these things? I didn't realise I was going to be making them this way. It kind Just of it came out of the evolves. idea. Yeah. Evolves. So so the idea of the kind of this strap, I thought, well actually that's really good because it gives me an element yeah. of how I can build with it. And also the fact that I can put these together quite kind of I was looking delicately. at that bowl. I was thinking about maybe you could do lattice, you could weave this. Oh yeah, yeah, lots of yeah. Well I've done do. lots of, of ways of working with the clay. And I think that but also, because it's paper clay, I can put it edge to edge I can, and I can join it quite... Because it's got paper in it. Yeah, delicately. That means, does that mean you could paint this and you could, if you wanted to, and oh, all yeah, sorts yeah, of, you yeah. could go to another level? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I do. I mean, when I'm using the colours on those, um, you know, that's under glaze colour. And then with a transparent glaze on top. Is it something you buy or is it something you make, the well, clay? Well, no, I don't make the clay because I think, well, why would I want to make clay I when bother. I... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this is actually a, a paper flax clay that comes from um, Northern Ireland, actually. Okay. So if I... Do you want to sit... Yeah, I do. I want to have a go. Yeah, and yeah. you're going to get in the master's chair yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, you know, normally it would be done with coils that most people... Would... We weren't going to do this, but I suddenly <laughs> realised I wanted to have a go. Right. So, so I'm crafty. So there you go. So there's the strap. So I put it in, put my finger on and pull it across, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So if I but go... hold, do it f further down so it's really... Near the finger, Yeah, because right, so you I'll need go to in. control. That's right. And then here. Fantastic. Then. Yeah. Pull it through. Oh, again, it's so satisfying. There you go. And yeah, then it's then the big reveal. It's like opening you, yeah. a Christmas <laughs> present, <laughs> isn't it? But you've got to do it sort of like this. Oh. You've got to pull it so it's... Oh, okay. That's right. So like this. And then I can pull it easy it back. Can yeah, I? yeah. Because you've got to do it obviously gently to I've got to take my glass. I can't see a blooming thing with them on. <laughs> and then the same this the side. Same, yeah, yeah. That's good, does it more easily. And then you just lift it out, oh, see it. Can I and then I just get and I lift it out, do I? Yeah, then just very gently. But to be tease it out, that's right. <gasps> and then we put it Is that what good enough to go on your pile? Yeah, 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 yeah. You I reckon? Use, You're throwing the bin when I've got no, one. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> that's <laughs> actually, fantastic. That's, that's all right, actually. So, that's could be, right. do you do commissions and stuff? Was it yes, just, yeah. In it, fact, yeah. these pieces over here are the result of a commission. These ones at the back. Okay. Um, I made um, some piece. A, a guy bought two pieces a few years ago, and then he got in touch with me and said he'd, he'd sold them to somebody who had a yacht. And, Oh, so very nice. A number of pieces for me. So a that's, yacht. That's very nice. nice. So, why so, would you? What would you? If you had to put a label on this, what's what's what do you? Is your job? Well, what do you call I this? see. I mean, I see myself, I suppose, as an artist. But the label for this particular craft it's is well, it's porcelain hand building. Hand Por building. Hand built porcelain. Hand built porcelain vessels. I love what you're doing. Decorative, decorative, but also with a meaning. In your shed. In the shed. In your yeah. shed. <laughs> I we, love my shed. I know you love your shed. And it just shows you, it's amazing how many people have got a little shed and it's yeah. there. Is this the place you come also? I know it's a, and it's work for you. Yeah. But this is something you shut yourself off. Yes. I feel a feeling, even though I'm in your little courtyard here, I feel like I'm in an, a completely different yeah. world. Yeah, no, I really like it. And I like it that I can see who can come in. Who you see in. people coming in I'm and out. I'm sort of monitoring people coming in. <laughs> so it's like a little security <laughs> shed. It is, it is, it is. It's lovely. And I, it's, yeah, I mean, it's a bit small, as you can see. It's crumped. I love it. No, I love I've, it. I've sort of got a bit, I, I probably ought to do a really big sort of throw out, but no. it's really hard to throw some things out. Well, if you craft, you hoard, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. just comes hand yeah. in hand, doesn't it? Yeah, you need this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Or you might need it. That's why if you have a shed and you want a shed, or this is called a she shedding craft. Did you know that? Yeah. Because well, you're a she and this is a she shed. This well, is what they call it. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to get a she shed or you need to have a shed or you're a man and you want to get a man cave, you should do this because oh, you never know where it could lead. We all um, need it. Thank you for inviting us into your shed. It's a pleasure. Sweetheart. Good um, nice to see you. What's in your shed? 
how good was that? Catherine's little shed and all that stuff going on, porcelain and all that sort of thing. Listen, if you liked that video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and also ring that little bell and I'll send you a little notification the next time we find a shed. And all I want to know is what's in your shed? And if you want to tell me, email me and you never know, I might come and see you. See ya. See ya.